fella. We could be that mistake. Let's do this. What it do, y'all? What's going on, guys? We are Embrace the Suck 21. Yes, we are. I'm Spencer. And I'm Daniel. Coming at you with ser- Season 1, <laughs> Episode 7 of The Ricky Gervais Show. The Diary. The Diary, which uh, we've tried checking out in the past. Uh, like, to my knowledge, I don't know if it's up or not. Like, y'all might correct us in we, the comments. We, uh... We're going down this this Ricky Gervais show in order, so. Yeah, yeah. So, last one was about cobblers and. Yep. Um, How he was, uses the old verbiage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Analogies are just not for Carl, no. man. But no. uh, let's just dive in, let's man. Di- let's see. Sure, the audio is good. Yep. For the past few years, Ricky Gervais, Stephen Merchant, and Carl Pilkington have been meeting regularly for a series of pointless conversations. This is one of them. Testing. Is that all right? Hello, and welcome to the Ricky Gervais Show. With me, Ricky Gervais, Stephen Merchant. Hello. And the little round-headed buffoon that is Carl Pilkington. All right. (laughs) should be good. Carl's been on holiday again, hasn't he? Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah, because, Carl, you, you don't do anything. And you have weekends <laughs> off. You take at least five or six weeks holiday a year, even though you haven't got a job now, you're meant to be doing this, and yet you still so go your whole life's a holiday, basically. Yeah, why do you need a holiday to... You, you, you potter around... You, it, you, your, your, big, your big day last week was going to the cobblers. So that's why right. do you need a break so much this oh, week? It's, it's just that... You know, it's it's good for your brain and that, isn't it? It's, it's, it opens well, it up a bit. You are not evidence for that. Where did you go? Gran Canaria. For a week? Yeah. Just sitting around? Um. Well, it, there isn't much else to do at Gran Canaria. I mean, I, I don't want to go slagging a place off because every time I seem to talk about somewhere, I get into trouble for it. Right. But it's just a like a big rock. It's Brilliant. just vol- volcanic, isn't it? It's and just... you must have looked like a, a little barnacle on that. Have you been there before? Um, been been near it before to another rock, which was just. But it was what the you had your fingers Why did you go back? Because you think, well, they can't have loads of these islands that are the same, like just a big rock with hotels on. They can't get away with it. So you <laughs> think <laughs> they well, are, the are getting away with it? But why why do you keep going to these places that are rocks? Why don't you investigate first? Ask your travel agent. Is this a giant rock? Because because that's what you do, isn't it? You go and find out yourself. I mean, <laughs> when when Armstrong went to the moon, what was he expecting up there? That's a fact, that's a big rock. And he still went all that way. <laughs> I don't know what that point was. No, so, what, so what I'm saying is, though... What do you make of this place? you enjoy it, Grand Canaria? It was I just a big rock, but did you... you I bet you... the moon was better. Ah! Really? <laughs> what did you... No, the moon is not better than, you know, an, a, a rock with a hotel on it. Because it's an island. Where is this place that he's talking about? I don't know. I, I, I've never heard... Like, Grand, is it? it's not Grand Canary Islands. The Canary Islands? Is it? This is like, uh, it's like off the coast of Spain. Oh, we're gonna get it so yeah, wrong yeah, here. They're gonna roast yeah. the fuck out of us in the comments. You dumb Americans don't know shit. Like, well, <laughs> if it doesn't have oil, then we don't know what what its name is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Do. It was just uh, one of them. It was big hotel, like big massive places where there's loads of people. And you know, you go for your dinner. That describes a hotel. Yeah. No, 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 no. To me. You've nailed that. But I've been to a few, that sounds like it. No, but <laughs> do, you know, do you know what I mean, though? There's the sort, there's the nice small ones where mm. it's just enough people, but this is like mental. And and it was all, it was it was full of old people, really. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's probably why it's called Grand Canaria, right? Because it's just oh, yeah. old people. Yeah, Grannies. Right. But what I thought I'd start doing is uh, start a diary. Okay, why? Just because I, I sort of had a bit of time on my hands and that. Just thought, write it down, write write stuff down. And do you hope that this one day will become one of the great literary documents like Samuel Pepys' diary? Um, I haven't heard of that. Is it any good? Oh, <laughs> now it's coming back to me. Yeah. We have done this. Yeah. So if we're not reacting very uh, intuitively or, like, what's the right word? Uh, intensely. <laughs> we have. Because we've seen this We've before. already reacted yeah, to yeah. Uh, like a compilation bits. Right, right, right. An isolated bit. Like I was trying to remember in the beginning of this reaction. Like, uh, have we done this before? Yeah, I don't remember yeah. it so far, but now it's. Yeah, but it's been so long since we've oh, done dude. it. So, yeah. we'll see. 
You've never heard of Samuel Pepys' diary? No, the, the, the most the, famous diary uh, other than probably Anne Frank's. I've heard of Anne Frank's and that, and I thought if she's sat in a, you know, a loft, knocking stuff up, not much going on in her life at that point, yet sure. she was still writing it down. <laughs> yeah, whereas you've been to Great Britain area, yeah. I thought, so there is stuff going on that I can chat about. Start a diary. Sure. You started a diary? Yeah. And what are you going to do? You, did, you, did you keep it up every day? Yeah, just... Uh, oh, can I read it, please? Well, a diary is meant to be sort can, of... Uh, please, can I read some out on this podcast? I... Carl... Some of it, though, is only relevant to me. It's sort of oh, running... this is... Please, give me it. Oh, my God. I mean, this isn't... I haven't just... Look like... how big it is! <laughs> <laughs> it's oh one of those desk diaries. It's huge. It's about a foot long. And it's... Ma oh, that is amazing. Imagine if Anne Franks had been like that. As she got out... <laughs> Right, <laughs> uh, everyone would have heard it clank down on the desk. Yeah, but my writing's quite big, isn't it? Oh, look, give us oh, that. Do you, give know, us that. do you know about joined up writing? Have you this heard about is that? No amazing. Point. Sometimes you can't read it, can you? So it's right, best to okay. look at, oh, look at oh, look, oh, my God, it starts on the first day. This is, this is wonderful. Go now, full disclosure, uh, do you write out a lot of stuff by hand no. anymore? No. No? Mm-mm. I, no. I, st I still write out uh, re bus referrals like and I, I I've not written down stuff on the regular and it's so long it's like when I route out write out you know Carly threw a bottle at Bella like that is that gives my yeah. hand a crip, cr a carpal tunnel <laughs> not carpal tunnel oh, it, it just is. makes it crap That's like funny <laughs> no it's been a long time since I, I would say I wrote anything yeah. I mean, besides, like, your quick... You sign your name. Yeah. Right. But on, I'm not... When you... Hand of writing. With a credit card transaction, you know, yeah. you sign your, your name on a, a stencil or whatever the fuck yeah. it is. But it, it's it's not... I mean, I... I don't think I've handwritten, like... <clears throat> a, like, a paper. No, like, no. Like, maybe... Mm, a, a letter would be the latest thing I've done. Yeah, yeah. And when I mean latest, I mean... How, how, however many years yeah. ago that was. <laughs> and, and we still got to do thank you notes from the wedding. Yes. Tracing me. Uh, so, oh, my God, my hand's going to get a workout. <laughs> yep. Just wear one of those braces. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting, <laughs> okay. I'm getting sold. Going on holiday to Grand Canaria today, woke up to the news that Tony Banks had died. There was a piece of on the news about how everyone was shocked. Got me thinking about an invention that was <laughs> Right. A, a watch that counted down your life. If it says you've got three days left, <laughs> go to the doctors. <laughs> <laughs> Told Suzanne about invention. She said she wouldn't buy one. But she said that about the iPod. How, uh, and how would this device work, this watch? I mean, how would you, uh, how would you know when you were about to die? Have you, is that a concern? Again, not for you to worry about, presumably the boffins. And the no, society. all I was thinking is that Tony Banks fella, you know, he died and everyone was shocked about it. But if you had, like, a little watch on... But how does it work? You can't just say, wouldn't it be good? How how would this work? Yeah, um, I imagine you're in the patent office going, got an idea. They go, oh, certainly, yeah, Mr. Bogan, what's your idea? Watch, they're counting down your life. Oh, how does that work? Well, just, just wear well, it, just pop it on your wrist. No, 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 what do you mean, just pop it on your wrist? How does it work, just pop it on your wrist? Brilliant. You're an idiot. Well, it's interesting that he goes on. The flight to Grand Canary was a bit bumpy. I thought about the clock that counts down your life again, and I wondered if it would know if you were going to die in a disaster. <laughs> no, he's querying his own, his own design. He's wondering yeah. if... Oh, hold on. What? I, I unplugged it. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yep, yep, yep. Stand by for a technical difficulty here. There we go. There we go. Yay! There we go. He's invented this. He's invented it. Now he's not even sure. <laughs> Uh, a fellow on the plane was reading Koi Mag. It was a fishing magazine. I glanced over and noticed he was reading the Pond of the Month article. Don't think they could make it into a weekly magazine. Well, to be fair to you, I because I remember seeing a guy on the train once reading Carp Monthly, yeah. a magazine do dedicated entirely to carp, and it had it had Carp of the Month. And I just thought, you know, once you're like three months in, the editor must be stressing. Have we got any more carp? We got a cart that's actually done anything. That's I reckon if they used the same one twice, there wouldn't be many complaints. No one would be noticing. No, that, well, that's the cart they used two years ago. There was a really fat bloke on the plane. He yeah. was playing on his PSP. While I waited to go to the toilet, I looked at what game he was playing. It was darts. He's that fat and lazy, you can't even face playing a more active game on a games console. <laughs> 
Me and Suzanne got all- Like, what, what's wrong with that? I got solitaire and w- wordscapes and NASCAR heat mobile on my phone. What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. You, yeah. But darts. Yeah, but, like, I feel like, all right, you, you, you can play, you, you pretend to, to, the draw, right? The yeah. video game is doing something you can't normally do. Uh huh. Yeah. You know, and darts. You could do darts at any bar. Period. Yeah. Pretty. Yeah. Do you have any mobile games on your phone? Oh fuck yeah, I I, I unplug with my phone games. Mm-hmm. Like like uh the the Tetris shit. Yeah. That's yeah. super boring. Like I I don't want engaging games. No. I want games to shut me off. Uh huh. You know. Because then my mind's worried about the bullshit that knows is bullshit, and I end up waking up the next morning. There you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes. Yeah. Comment below your favorite uh, um, mobile game. Yeah. Yeah. Off the coach along with a couple of old people. One of them was in a wheelchair. I don't think it was wise of them to come to a volcanic island with a wheelchair. <laughs> Everywhere's pretty rough, paved, and slopey. Guess I'll keep an eye on it as the weeks go on. <laughs> Day two in Gran Canaria. Brilliant, we're only at day two. The hotel's a bit odd. I've never seen as many cross-eyed people in one location. <laughs> oh, that's, enough, isn't it? that's amazing! Well, you may as well let me read on a bit more. But this is amazing. We'll come back this is a brilliant on. diary. This might be the best diary ever written. Oh. While sat listening to the kinks on my iPod, I wondered if everybody thinks in their accent. I know I do. What's, what's this? What are you talking about? Just just that, uh, you know, when, I, when I've been sat there lying on the lounger, right, and I was thinking about stuff. <laughs> How probably. do you know you think in your accent? Tell me a typical thought. Because, because what I mean is, say, say if I was like, if I saw something, right, do you know how I say, like, oh, that's a bit weird, isn't it? That, no, but that was I don't have said. to. But in uh, when you think, I don't think the sentence is like I'm saying it. It's just a thought. The thought appears. It's conceptual and it's already there. It's not like um, I go, Rick, what? just uh, looking at a fellow over there, were you? Yeah, I was. Yeah, um, I was thinking it looks a bit weird. Oh, so was I. I don't. I don't think out whole sentences. Whereas you have Carl. Carl. Li- Carl. Stop listening to the kinks for a minute. Look over there. More. More cross-eyed people. <laughs> no, well, that's yeah. That's is that how your of... mind works? In a way, yeah. And Brilliant. that's when it, because because <laughs> I thought that a lot. <laughs> it's great that you have to think about a whole sentence is. Cause I thought that's weird, isn't it? Right, I didn't think that's weird, isn't it? And I no. thought I actually think in my accent. Mm. And then I thought, does Stephen Hawking? Does he when he's doing his maths and that? <laughs> is he? I don't know where he's from, so I don't know what his accent would be like. I think he's from uh, Kent or Cambridge or Oxford. Right. Or so. So you think he might think in his in, in his, his voice in that yeah. in that voice in his computerized box voice. Just wondered. Had lunch inside today due to shite weather. Sat next to an old fella. Old men's ears and noses carry on growing as they get older. Suzanne noticed his fingers were fat too. Maybe they continue to grow. Suzanne didn't laugh when I said her arse had the same problem. (laughs) (laughs) Day three, cloudy start to the day. Had pie and chips in a cafe. Had a bit of an argument with Suzanne because I thought it was daft that we were paying for food when we were on an all-inclusive holiday. Changed my mind when I saw the... They sold pie, though. <laughs> the cafe was called Tattoos. The fellow who owned it didn't have any tattoos. But we never saw his wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. Had a drink in a bar. Everyone sat and watched one of the local cats lick its bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> it's the greatest holiday in the world. <laughs> Ricky cannot handle uh, it. That's the entertainment in that town. Went back to the hotel and had a sleep before tea. I love the fact you're like, you're moaning about old people, but you're just as bad. <laughs> he's done nothing so far. <laughs> he's done nothing. He's got a hip. <laughs> Woke up to news about ducks being badly treated. There was a really ugly one with bent legs. <laughs> I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Why does he write this down? Oh, God. Oh. There is a fat bloke from Bolton who is in the pool as I write this. He's got a big tattoo on his back, but I can't work out what it is. Dot, dot, dot. He just got out of the pool and burped. He just felt like you had to keep us abreast of that. <laughs> Everything's in the diary. i just seen it get to the point where you're going, breathed in, <laughs> yeah. breathed out again. There was a big fat fella in the sea who kept his T-shirt on. If you're big and fat, 
is there more chance of you getting burnt because there's more of you on show? I <laughs> asked Suzanne and she said she didn't know in that sort of not listening kind of way. <laughs> I wanted to hang about to see if the fat bloke was going to get in the kayak. <laughs> but Suzanne, <laughs> Suzanne said we had a head back. <laughs> Slow him waiting to see if he's going <laughs> to capsize. We go home today, so we got up early to get the last bit of cloud. <laughs> no, it's, it's just that it wasn't... Uh, it, it's, it's not that sunny all the time. I mean, I, I was sat in in weather that... If it was like that air, there's no way I'd be sat in the garden. <laughs> yeah. But because you're on holiday, it's like, well, we've got to sit in it. Put your coat on. <laughs> so are you going to continue to write this diary? Every yeah, single day? It's amazing. Keep this diary up. It's no, amazing. I, I, no, I will. I will keep it up, because what I find as well is, I think earlier on, before I went away, I think I did learn something... And because I wrote it down, I, I remembered it a bit um, better. So what was that? I just was thinking then. I forgot it now, but <laughs> <laughs> but I remembered looking back at it and not having to read it all because I remembered the end of it before I read it. If you know what I mean. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh wow, dude. Ah, it's just as funny the second time around. <laughs> what? Like his mind is different. It, it, like it, Carl's it, is just Carl's. Carl's on a, different. On a whole other level. <laughs> Why? He writes a lot about fat people. <laughs> like, uh, for for me, it's like if I had to if I had to write a diary that was just for me. I would just write words, and I would know exactly what they mean. Uh huh. I wouldn't write in depth about anything because who has that time? No. My one. diary would be shorthand. Yeah. It would just have like four words and they're like, oh, I know what exactly what happened that day. <laughs> Man. <sighs> but nobody writes diaries. Are you anymore. are you that kind of person that, that if you if you write it down it helps you like get it out? Yeah. Yeah, I would say so. Um song lyrics, uh things I got to do for the day. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. Bless you. Yeah. Uh but yeah, I, I think that help that does help me a little bit. No, I, yeah. and I, I I definitely get that. I definitely see the 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 need for one. I oh, mean, yeah. especially if you're if you're multitasking or if you're not a good multitasker, I'm a terrible multitasker. Um to write stuff out declutters the mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would say so. Yeah. yeah. That's why my I just don't have anything up there anyway. <laughs> Sometimes you do. Yes, it's just empty. <laughs> Harry from Canterbury wants to know whether any of us have ever had any cruel nicknames. Um, he claims that he's uh, quite tall and rather hirsute, and he says he's often called Lurch or Wolfie. Um, he's always thought that Carl looks a bit like Mr. Potato Head. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, there's no potato that round, but um, I suppose you could fashion a potato to be that round. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we could, if anyone can uh, carve a potato into the roundest head ever, <laughs> yeah. pop a couple of eyes on it. Make um, it look as much like Carl as possible. Exactly. But yeah, did any nicknames? Did you ever have a nickname, uh, Rick? No, mine was boring. I didn't have any. It was just around the name, like Jerv or something like that. No, I didn't have nicknames. I always wanted a nickname. Um, I just thought it was quite cool for some reason, particularly because gangsters always seem to have nicknames. Lefty. You know, fingers. Yeah. Lefty, yeah. Uh, Scarface. Yeah. And so I, I decided that I thought, because no one was giving me a nickname at school, it was kind of annoying, or certainly not to my face, yeah. that I decided <laughs> to just come up with one. Yeah. And so I went, I remember I was at lunch once, and I just said to my mate Phil... How old were you? Uh, 12, 13. Brilliant. I just said to him, uh, Phil, um, <laughs> don't know if you know, mate, but um, people aren't calling me Steve anymore. Everyone's, everyone's calling me Spud now. Spud? <laughs> now, I don't know why I thought Spud. It's weird we should talk about Mr. Potato. I don't know why I thought Spud was a... Was a cool nickname. I just, I think it's, it's a grown-up it, name, though, isn't it? And it's also because I think it sounded like uh, it was probably either something that you'd find in one of those kids' books, like the Famous Five, or like the Bash Street Kids. There'd be Spud, and I always imagine with Spud, he's not the leader of the gang, but he's a reliable member. I think you know Spud I mean? is the biggest lorry driver in one yeah. particular sort of uh, <laughs> car park. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And he gets out, All right, boys, and he's big and massive, and it, Spud can eat two breakfasts. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, <laughs> but I just in my mind it was yeah that I would be one day part of a gang. And it's I'm Pinky. This is Joe Joe and the tall guy Spud. And you know, catch on, never really it? caught. And he just went, oh yeah, right. And no one started. And I was hoping he'd go. You know, everyone's calling Steve Spud. Yeah, but of course, hey Spud. The first time I said Spud, and you go what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You'd be really proud, wouldn't you? No. <laughs> Did you have a nickname? Um, what do you think, Spud? Is that a decent nickname? It, it has to be short. Yeah, it has to be short. Um, 
Spud, Spud uh, wouldn't work here. Spud Crowley. Yeah. No. Biff <laughs> Webster. Yeah, Spud. Chuck Steak. Yep, Spud. <laughs> I no. Can they that's do... not a that's not a good nickname over here. That's a pudgy uh, nickname. Spud. Yeah. Spud it's... is is just one letter from being stud. Uh huh. And it's just not. It's so. not. And plus, you don't give yourself nicknames. No. Other people give you nicknames. Yep. <sighs> Man. Not not really. I mean, there was a lot of people on the estate that I grew up on. You know, nicknames are, are big things on estates and that. Yeah. Um, a lot of my dad's mates, right? What what their nicknames did was tell you about them. Do you know how I said about the Elephant Man's a good name? Yeah. Because, like, you know what you're going to get. If someone said, Elephant Man's popping around in a bit, it wouldn't <laughs> be a shock when he walked in. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so so it, was, it worked in that sort of uh, sort of thing, you know. So there was, uh, there was John the Screw, right? John the Screw? Yeah. Whether he had sex or not, or he worked in a prison? No, he had a DIY shop. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you had him, right? right? There, was, uh, there was Fred the Veg. Yeah. Which is yeah. I assume it's because he was at the same IQ as you. Yeah. Or, or, or he was in a coma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. There was, there, was, uh, there was my uncle, Tattoo Stan. Oh, right. right. Yeah. He, had, he had, like, loads of tattoos that he'd just done himself. Oh, my right. God. The, the problem was, because he did his tattoos himself, Oof. the ones on his left arm were really good. Because <laughs> he was right-handed. On his right arm, rubbish. Right? <laughs> um, so, so there was him. Oh, great. And there was um, Jimmy the Hat. Jimmy who, the Hat? Yeah. Did and he that, always wear a hat? No, he didn't. That, that's, that was the point there. That he, he never wore a hat. That's amazing. Brilliant. How can you pick up on someone never wearing a hat? How would you ever notice? I'll tell you what, I've noticed something about Jimmy. What? Go on. He doesn't wear a hat. <laughs> why, why was he not called Jimmy the Parrot? Because he, he never carries a parrot. <laughs> no, yeah, no, no, that's just the way. I mean, that's how they work, isn't it? I mean, here, that, that, here comes Jimmy Three Legs. Why'd you call him that? He hasn't got three legs. I didn't really have one apart from, um, <laughs> like, I had a CB. You know, like when you'd go on a CB radio and have a chat to people. Oh, this but... was a craze in the, uh, was it late 70s, early 80s? Sort of early 80s. And, uh, it was just short band radio, wasn't it? Everyone had these little handsets and they'd speak to each other in the sort of local area. Yeah, it was mainly, I think it started off with like. Lorry drivers, isn't it? Yeah, truckers, yeah, because there was that, that thing from like about 1970. Convoy. Was, convoy, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so so I had one of them and the handle, I had, I had two handle different names. Handle mean is your nickname, your yeah, name. Yeah, there's loads of code, code stuff. Yeah. Um, I, had, I had a couple. I had, um, there was Pilky 01, because right. like I say, there's a lot of Pilkingtons and that. In Manchester, so if someone wants Pilky O2, it's open. Do you know what I mean? They can have it. And then. Um, <laughs> that, is, that is people scrabbling for. Oh, I, want yeah. Pil- I want a Pilky O1. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, because I did boxing and that. Well, you did it once. <laughs> yeah. I'd, uh, I'd box a boy. Because I thought that that's quite a good image as well. That's kind of like people going, oh, don't mess with him. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. If he asks what your handle is, tell him. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's box a boy and that. Yeah. So. Just had them two, and I used to just go on there and. Pointless. What is the point of this? Well, you just you just meet people, don't you? And you so don't meet people. You say, "What's your handle?" You're a box boy. What's yours? Uh, uh, rubber duck. All right. Cheers. No, it's but ridiculous. then but then you'll say like, then you go, "Oh, uh, what's your twenty? What's that mean? That's where are you? Well, why don't you say where are you? Because just in case there's someone who's listening in who who you know you hear about this all the time, don't you? People <laughs> listening and jotting stuff down. Oh, right, so just in case someone in the world doesn't know what handle means, they're, they're out of the loop. They're yeah. out of the loop. It's hardly the, it's not a difficult code to crack, is it, yeah. if you're trying to track someone? It's hardly the head of the mafia talking to each other because the FBI are on the wire. It's ridiculous. Like, I go, oh, you keep saying that, what's your handle, and they come back with something else. I, don't, I can't work out what's going on. No, it's like, it's like anything, isn't it? That's what, codes, that's, what, you know, that's what codes are all about, isn't it? You set them up and that. Go on, and tell me, tell me the code, then. Reveal it long last to the world what yeah. these codes are. Right, so, yeah. what's your 20? Where oh, are you? This is better than the Enigma. Yeah. Right, now, here we go. Right. How many candles are you burning? Uh, does that mean how big is your car or something like that? Horsepower or something? How many hours are you awake, Oh, what time is it? No, how old are you? Oh, what? what? How old are you? Okay. Right. right. Uh, how many candles are you burning, of course? Yeah. So, what the, what's the answer come back? You go, uh... I'm 15. 14. Brilliant. 
That code, <laughs> that code, it, there's no one going to work that out. I wish you'd have kept a diary of this, because this has been fascinating. <laughs> now and again, someone will come in and go uh, side on, right? What's that mean? And that means, like, there's someone sat there listening into this Ooh. chat and going, this sounds interesting. Yeah, no, it does Unlikely. <laughs> yeah. And they, they want to join in, so they sort of go side on, you go side on, bring it in, right? And they go, all right. How many candles are you burning? <laughs> yeah. Watch <laughs> your 20. That's the cruise round again. Yeah. See you later. What's your 20. How many <laughs> yeah. candles are you burning? Oh. And, I mean, it seems to me that what you should have done is make made a note the first time so that when you then speak to them again, you don't need to ask them those questions. <laughs> Can I just confirm that you're burning 15? <laughs> I love trucker talk. Yeah. Like, it's, it's like, I, I, I don't know what it means, but... It's something cool about saying breaker, breaker, one nine. I got a smoky on my tail. Ten four. Yep. That's it's it's. They they that's the that's a different world, man. Yeah, yeah. And it's just intriguing. It's intriguing. All the codes. They they still have codes. Yeah, yeah. You know they still have codes. Yeah, I still say even just talking to you and like just acknowledging something. I'm like ten four. Yep. Ten four. <laughs> that's that that's the school bus driver in me talking. Yeah. Do you guys have Steve Bees? We guys? we do. We do have a a, a two way uh, to talk to uh, to base and to other drivers too. Do you guys have codes? Uh, not really codes, but you guys just really just ten <laughs> four. <laughs> Spencer just text me over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's your what's your ETA yeah. to uh the school? Yep. Got um, it. Uh, let's see. What's what's the other one? Uh, it, it's not trucker, but it's military. say uh, I got your six. I've got your back. That, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. trucker. I use the, that's usually military. Right. Right. But that's <laughs> yeah. like uh, that, that's the only one I know is I got your six. I got your six. Yeah. That's uh that's more military. But I I I, I see a trucker saying I'm on your six. Yeah. I'm on your six. I'm on your back. Yeah. I'm on your tail. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> I got your back. Like we're in a. I got a one-way road, bro. I got a, I got a smoky on my six ten four. <laughs> yeah, I can't shake him. Oh man, it's oh. probably time for monkey news. Yes. Here we go. It's that time again. Do the jingle. Oh, monkey news! <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. What? Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna do a really good one. Though. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> oh, chimpanzees! Monkey news, yeah. <laughs> right, do you know it's it's nearly time for the Winter Olympics again. Okay. Is it? Okay. They sort of come round every four years. Is it this year? Is it? Yeah. And uh, the 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 last one that happened four years ago. Yeah. There was a there was a bit of an incident. Oh no. Do you remember any winners that were monkeys? In any of the tournaments? No. no. So. So anyway. It's not going to be that because it wouldn't be true. Oh, go on. Yeah. So anyway, one one of the uh, popular events. Um, Bobsleigh. Hey! <laughs> okay, right. Um, you know, it, you know, it works. Well, you it's need like four men. Is it four men or five? Four men. It's four. Yeah. So it's definitely four men that you need, need on four a men. team. Is it and two? And there's two team bobsleds. But as well. they're always men. Is that right, Rich? Don't <laughs> just clarify. With the Winter Olympics, you can't have any animals taking part. No, and they and they also well, no, because they, they wouldn't be allowed. And two, there's no way they could disguise it because not only would they see it straight away, right? But they have blood tests, <laughs> right? Okay, so, which would show up. So they definitely know if it was well, a, blood a non -human. It's impossible. It would be literally impossible to have anything other than a human Take involved in a bobsleigh team. Fine, okay, so carry on. So anyway, the, the, the country was doing really well in the qualifying stages. Oh, yeah. But the problem was there was there was like two members mm. who were getting all like the press and stuff. Oh, right, yeah. Anyway, so this one member was getting fed up because the, the other two were getting all the press and what have you. So he said, I, I'm not happy with this. Yeah. I'm jacking it in. Oh. So they were like, you're joking, we've, we've qualified, we're getting into like the main race and everything. Mm. You can't leave us now. And he said, well, you could do it all on your own before. You know, you, the way you were acting, like, you didn't yeah. need me, so I'm going. Yeah. So the clock's ticking. It's getting close to the big race and everything. Of course it is, yeah. They're like, what, what are we going to do here? The substitute right? they took with them. What are they going to well, do? Have, yeah. yeah, they would take the substitute, so get no, him No, they didn't, they, didn't, they didn't have any of them and that. What, it's, what, you know, a lot I, of injuries just, and stuff. Or just get a mate to do it, just get a mate or a friend yeah, or, or the coach to do it, yeah. But, you know, there's a lot of responsibility on these people. All right, stand by for technical Stand difficulty. by. Go. All right. There we go. Mm-hmm. All right. All right.
people and, you know, <sighs> you won't want to let your country down and that. And they were like, what are we going to do? Get a waiter or anyone Anyway, in the, the time comes to the race. Seems to be three people on it. There appears to be three, OK, yeah. Um, they start off, they're whizzing round the track faster than normal. They, they're beating their old record. Right, amazing. Because the new fella they've got a little bit smaller. Ah. Oh, right? is, so, is he in the bobsleigh or is he pushing? He's, he's in it. Oh, right. OK. Right. He's wearing a uniform and a helmet, though. He's, he's got a helmet he looks on, like. he's got the kit face. on. Um, yeah. Nobody knows who he is, but the country's do. loving it. They're they like, well, it looks like we're going to break all our records, you know. Good. It's good that they found someone new. Yeah. Bet the other fella who left is he's sort of kicking himself, thinking, oh, I could have been part of this. <laughs> anyway. This wasn't that bloke that had very short legs and long arms, was it? Anyway, what happened is they're whizzing round the track and what have you. Faster than ever, yeah. Faster than ever, and the press are, like, going, beating all records here. They mm. started taking photographs. <gasps> A lot of flashes from the cameras and stuff. Right, of course. Suddenly, the bobsleigh goes a bit sort of mental and whizzes off, off the track. Ambulance comes rushing over and stuff. The other two members are looking pretty nervous for some reason. <laughs> mm, oh, what are they doing? They're saying, look, um, don't take the helmet off because, you know, you can do more damage to the... the well, neck. don't tell the paramedics how to do it. Uh, I mean, <laughs> they know their job. Yeah, yeah, they know yeah, their yeah, job. Yeah. So they were like, just, just, you know, and plus, you know, he doesn't... He, he came in at last minute to help us out. He doesn't want everyone to know who he is. He's, yeah. he's not after the limelight. Yeah. Like some of the members we used to have. But he just, yeah. he just was helping his country out. Yeah. Leave the helmet on. Anyway, they get him in the ambulance and stuff. The other two are looking a bit worried and what have you. They're oh. gutted, they lost the race. The little bloke, is the bloke not saying anything? Is he not? He's, he's in the ambulance now. Is he not saying anything, though? Anyway, we reported that one of the ambulance drivers said that, that on that on that sort of dreadful night when, you know, the country lost out on a medal in the bobsleigh, he sort of reported that there was a monkey in the back of the ambulance. People were, like, going, ah, oh, you're joking, I don't remember you? this. I don't remember this he, not, he, Well, this is it, you see, because they sort of swept it under the carpet oh, a little bit. Right. They were like, this Bullshit. is crazy talk. Bullshit. 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 This is Bullshit crazy again. talk. <laughs> Once talk. Absolute shit. Where did you get this, this from? This is crazy talk, right? It is but, crazy talk, and it's from the mouth of Carl Pilkington. And, and, but, the, <laughs> but the weird thing is, that backed it up. Well, following week, um, there was a story of some people who visited the zoo saw a chimp in a neck brace. <laughs> 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 oh man, dude, <laughs> I love monkey news. It gets me every time. <laughs> Thanks. So he'll hear just something. Yeah. And he'll just bleh. Like, yeah. I love that. <laughs> I love there's a conspiracy. Was oh. it a monkey or was it not a monkey? It had to have been a monkey. Trust me, it was a monkey. Yes. <laughs> oh, dude, all these, all these episodes. Two thumbs up. Oh, yes. Two thumbs up, man. It was great to review the diary again. Yeah, man, I had forgotten. And to hear it in context with the rest of the episode yeah. too it was great. Yeah. So, hey, hopefully we'll get to the next episode sooner rather than later. Yes. In the meantime, thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing, hitting that bell, and sharing with your friends. Definitely, guys. Till next time, wash your hands, scrub your toes, wipe your ass, blow your nose, embrace the suck. And unplug from your devices, guys, and go on an adventure. See you all next time. Later.